Okay, so our goal here in this little session is to basically create a schedule that has the tonnage of all the steel in the project. So I'm going to go kind of walk you through that because it's not real automatic the way Revit uh, would go ahead and generate that. So we're going to first create a shared parameter called tonnage. So I'm going to go to the shared parameters here and then under structural, which I've already created this group, I'm going to create a new shared parameter called tonnage and the discipline will be structural and the type of parameter will be a weight. Okay, I'll go ahead and create that, click OK and the next thing I'll do is I'll edit the families, the structural families that I'm using and typically we don't have too many right under you know we could have maybe three or four if we've got channels and uh, double T's and all those things, but I'm going to go ahead and expand uh, structural tr uh, framing here. And right now I've just got two. I've got the the HSS hollow structural section and the W wide flange. I'm going to click edit to edit the hollow structural section first. And then when I'm in the family editor, I'm going to click on the family types and I'm going to add that uh, shared parameter that I just created. So I'll click on the shared parameter toggle. I want this to be an instance parameter, by the way. And then click select. I'll then select structural parameter group tonnage. This is again the same uh, shared parameter I just created. And then I'll click OK. Okay. And typically, actually, I like to have that under, not under other, but under dimensions or something up here. And then what we need to do is we need to add a formula. Okay, so I'm going to enter a formula called W, which is basically going to take this value here, which is the weight per linear foot nominally for that particular object. And I'm going to multiply that times the length and then times 1, uh, just times 1, basically. I'm going to do that. And it's going to add the kit per foot on the end of that. And what this does is it straightens out my inconsistent units because if essentially I just did width times length so this is a little bit of explanation here I'll click it, it's going to give me that so I'm basically I do I do parenthesis length times one that takes care of that now you'll notice that my tonnage is about a thousand times what it should be as far as you know logically 37.6 uh, the W times the amount of feet, which right now the, the default length of uh, this particular object is 5 foot, so 5 times 37.6, you'd expect it to be you know less than that. So, um, And I'll be honest with you, I don't know exactly why this is. I'm sure someone who knows a little bit more about uh, these members can can tell me why that it, it's it's a thousand fold but anyway I'll go ahead and just introduce that and divide by a thousand that gives me my formula and now it starts to add up so you know for an object that has a W value of 37.6 and it's 10 foot uh, long it should be 376 pounds okay so I'll go ahead and switch that back to 5 hit apply hit OK and then typically you'd save it right you save the family and you'd load it into the project and I'll go ahead and overwrite the existing version and its parameter values for the HSS. Obviously, I need to do the same thing for the white flange so family, so I'll go ahead and edit that family as well. And again, I'll go to the family types, add here a shared parameter, the same shared parameter, make sure that it is the same one, tonnage, make sure it's an instance, and I'll put it under dimensions just like the other one and same value here so I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this so I don't have to write it out again and basically there's my formula again makes sense right 10 feet if I go ahead and change the default value times t uh, value W value 26 it gives you 260 pounds so I'll go ahead and put that back to 5 feet hit apply hit OK and then again load that into the project and I'll overwrite the existing version and its parameter values. Now if I select an instance of any one of my framing members in the project, for example this is W16 by 26 which happens to be 73 foot 6 inches long, 
you know, uh, the 26 is the is the W value, so 73 foot 6 times 26 should give me that figure right there. Now, if I'm interested not in pounds but in tons, then that's a project units thing. So basically, you could come over here to your project units and to the manage tab, go to structural, and then for weight, you know, if you want straight up a LB at the end of that, you can just change the unit symbol. It doesn't actually change the the unit being used, which is pounds, or you can go to tons force and use that instead. And I'll click OK, and we'll use that, and the, so it basically converts that measurement, that uh, that weight, into tons force. Then the only thing we should have to do now is actually create the structural framing category schedule, and it's going to be a straight up schedule, not a material takeoff. So I'll right click on schedule quantities create a new schedule, make sure that it is of structural framing, and then here I'll add the following fields, and you of course can add more fields, but I'm just going to do this for basic comprehension of what we're trying to do, so count, so I want a quantity of each of the sticks in the, uh, the project family, and then I want type, and we want the W value not that we need it necessarily, but it's good to kind of see how that calculates there in the table. And then length. And then finally, uh, our shared parameter, which is tonnage. We'll find it there. Okay, add that in. Okay, so there's my fields. Under sorting and grouping, typically want to sort by family, then type. And I want to make sure that itemize every instance is turned off because I do not want an itemized schedule with every instance of framing listed. I want a type schedule. And then under the formatting tab, typically want to make sure that count, length, and tonnage are calculated. Okay, and so once I've got that done, I'll just click OK, and there's my schedule with the amount of my H uh, 6 by 6 by 1 half inch, and then the uh, a calculated length for all of them, and then my tonnage for each of those uh, in the project. So, just kind of let's do this real quick. Uh, and by the way, if you want a grand total of your tonnage, go to the, I believe, the sorting and grouping tab and make sure that you click ground totals for, uh, for overall tonnage. I'll click totals there. And there we go, we've got 6.19 total tons throughout the project and if we were to go back and look at our view here in 3D bear with me as we kind of have the kind of graphics thing going on here move this down and over a little bit and then if I were to adjust for example any one of these structural framing members I'll just extend it past here you should see you know, all our information update instantly, as Revit does, this typical Revit scheduling behavior.